All right, so for today's uh, lesson, this is basically for my uh, A202 mobile programming class. Um, I updated the uh, my GitHub uh, project for Turing Holic application. Uh, and this uh, time, uh, I'm going to use the uh, local host as uh, the backend provider. Um, so for for today's um, tutorial, uh, we're going to look how to run your Flutter app or how to run the uh, Turing application, um, Turing Holding application, using the uh, Zem as your backend services. All right, so I updated everything, uh, the Flutter application uh, and also the uh, Turing Holic application, uh, Turing Holic backend uh, services, PHP code. So uh, the things that you need to do now is one, you need to install Xam. All right, so make sure your Xam is running. All right, so this is my Xam uh, version 3.2.4. Uh, you need to make sure that your Apache service uh, and MySQL service is running without any problem. So that is the first thing that you need to do. Uh, the second thing that you need to do is to download um, from my GitHub. Uh, you need to download uh, this repo. Uh, this is the backend services uh, for uh, the for the um, local host uh, services. So uh, it's basically the same, but uh, the database connector here uh, are changes to the um, Xam um, connection, which you need to set username to root uh, and also uh, remove the password. Remove the password and uh, change the database name. So that is the first thing that you need to you need to notice with a DB connect here. Uh, you need to download all this file. Okay, get the codes, download zip, and then um, after that you need to go to uh, the Zam directory. Zam directory uh, into htdoc. Right, so you need to go into your Zam directory htdoc uh, folder, which uh, where the server directory. Uh, for the uh, local host um, uh, and then you you need to create a folder called Turing Holic so this is where your application uh, directory is going to be right so uh, unzip and put it in all the files into here so you're going to end up with uh, two folders called image images and PHP uh, and then uh, once you you have done that um, you notice that there's a one file here called a Turing Holic DB. So this is the SQL file. So this SQL file basically uh, contain all the SQL instruction for you to create uh, your database. Uh, and then the second step is this, which is to set up a localhost application directory. All right, so this is the application directory inside htdoc and Turing Holic folder. Uh, the third things that you need to do is to uh, set up your database. Alright, so to set up the database, you need to access your local host and go to phpMyAdmin here. Alright, so you need to create database. So you can see the difference here in the XAMPP um, phpMyAdmin. You can create your database here, but in the web hosting, uh, you need to create the database uh, using separate tools uh, where you need you need to set the user uh, you need to set for the admin for the database but here you don't have to set anything uh, just give the database name so for example like here uh, the database name here is a Turing Holic so go ahead and create a Turing Holic as a, your database name so once you have your Turing Holic uh, directory here so this one because I already imported I uh, already import the, the database file so it's basically contain all the data needed. Uh, so by default, you don't have all this. Uh, you need to go to the import tab here. 
and choose file so you need to look for the files uh, the downloaded file in your xam directory so here and then uh, in the Turing Holic, so this file here so open this file so once you open the file go ahead and press go button and it will basically import all the tables and also data uh, in your database all right so that is the step three set up your database all right so once you set up your database next uh, you need to download the latest version of the touring link application so you need to go to flutter a202 folder so you need to get this um, uh, you need to get this uh, uh, this this uh, codes all right so um, download everything uh, and then make sure that your Turing Helix is basically in, 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 in your computer uh, directory. Alright, so once you have that, you, once you download it, uh, and make sure that you load uh, through, your, um, through your code, your Visual Studio code. Alright, so you load through your Visual Studio code, uh, and um, all you have to do is just uh, open folder, and go to the directory for this Turing Helix uh, folder. Alright? So once you have that, um, you 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 will notice that there's a few changes here. So um, I've moved all the server configuration, uh, which is easier later if you want to uh, move to uh, your web hosting. So uh, you will notice that there's a one file here in the lib folder called config.dat. So config.dat basically contain this uh, uh, server uh, configuration uh, and for this you need to make sure that you get your own server directory uh, sorry your server IP address all right so to get the server address all you have to do is just run IP con uh, open your common prompt open your common prompt all right so type in IP config and make sure that you get your or is it your your local IP address here? Let's read this one. All right, your local IP address. So this IP address might might be different. Uh, so uh, mine is at uh, zero dot one three seven. So this is a local IP address. So every time if you change places, if you change to a different uh, location or you use different network, so this uh, IP address might might be changes to a different IP address. So make sure you get this IP address correctly. Uh, and this basically, uh, if you later on, if you want to uh, upload your project to the web hosting, I, all you need to do is just uh, debug and uh, uncomment this and uncomment this and change to your server uh, domain name. All right, so it's quite easy to do. Uh, and the rest uh, of, the, of the application is basically the same. Um, so you will notice that now uh, for uh, the, the, the server configuration here is being called through this config.server. Okay, config is the name of the class, uh, .server is the, the, the variable here. Okay, so all the server directory is, has been replaced with uh, config.server. So this is just basically just to make things easier for, for our application later. Uh, if you want to change uh, from, uh, from the production to the, uh, sorry, from the development to the production. All right, so um, I think that that's it. Uh, and of course, uh, because when we run our application uh, through local, uh, through XAM, uh, you will notice that I added um, this uh, into the uh, Android manifest down here, which allow us to run uh, application in localhost because in localhost you don't have HTTPS. Uh, so that means you need to add this uh, into your Android manifest but I already added that uh, Android uses uh, clear traffic text traffic which is true 
uh, and uh, our HTTP or our PHP file um, from the uh, previous example basically I use a HTTPS so here I have changes to the HTTP because the Xam didn't support HTTPS of course so that that's uh, one update that you need to to aware of uh, and then you can just run your application to your AVD and basically the same so now you 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 should be able to run your application using your um, XAM and that basically detach you from uh, your uh, web hosting and later on when you need to publish your application then you access your web hosting to to, to publish your application all right so the development now become easier because everything can be done without having uh, to connect to to your web hosting uh, and let me just show you the application um, running Okay, so now you can see uh, the application use the, uh, the configuration of the server which is uh, 192.168.0.137 so this is a local um, server directory and when um, I press the button login here no problem to log into the local server and if I access my Turing RAM here no problem loading data from the local server and this is all local server okay so this will basically will make your development much much faster and much much easier to to deal with instead of having to access to your web hosting all the time and yeah make your development much much faster all right so i think that's all uh you can just uh try to to look into the codes and a recent update that I introduced, uh, basically now you can have your comment um, visible uh, and here, let's say if I put uh, a comment, say, um, hello, nice room, so press comment here, so you, you should have this view, or you should be able to, to view your comment here. Alright, so that's it. Uh, I think that's all for, for this quick update and uh, I hope this will help you uh, to, um, to build your application in the future using XAMPP. Alright.